What do you mean you agree? You can't get a f camera flat, can you? Oh, I'm not in shot. Hello and welcome to the most inconsistent person in the world. Um, aside from the, the fellow in number 10, but we'll, we'll move past that. Um, 2021 is nearly over. Oh, I've got so little highlights of 2021. Graduation. Um, the Great North Run. Half Marathon. Um, I think that's it to be honest. And a few other things. Um, yeah, it's been a it's been a good year, kind of. It's it's been a shite year. It has been shit. But you know what? I've got a few things to take from 2021. You know, I, I this I, I've I've created eye candy. That's going to take off in 2022. Take up a lot of my time in 2022. So um, yeah, that's um, that's going to be exciting. Um, so I'm picking up the guitar again. So that's um, you know, I apologise for that one. Um, I don't get singing. I don't understand singing. But how do you know you can sing? Because you know, you can sing in the shower, right? That's fine. But like, I don't understand how you can decide if you can sing or not. Because everyone can sing, but everyone can't sing. But I'm waffling. Good. There's one thing I want to do. Um, there's, a few, there's a few things I want to do, and I want to start by like offering a tribute to um, uh, a guy I used to work with called Adam. Um, he died um, earlier in December, and his funeral was yesterday. Um, and he was one of the most, if not the most, principled man I've ever met. All right, his morals were sky high. I, I, you know, he. I've only like I only worked with him for like a handful of months, really, probably definitely less than a year. I didn't work with him for a long time, but that short time that I did work with him, he was like you know a really sound guy, you know, really funny. Like obviously loved Newcastle, um, and just morally right. I wasn't afraid to say, well, well, no, I think you're wrong, and like you can you can you know stand up for somebody. And push people for their best, and that's like I think that's rare. I think it's really, really rare. Um, you know, and some of the best moments I've had in the office were because of him, and obviously a, like a few others. But you know, he was also a major contributing factor in why I stayed at the engineering company for as long as I did. Because it was like, you know, it was fun. You know, it was fun partially because of him. Um, but you know. He had, he had really strong like principles and morals and was nice uh, uh, niceness niceness is rare like niceness is rare but he made it look so simple as if to like say uh, well how come this kind of niceness has been so rare like he made he made kindness so simple like I remember it was my birthday um I don't I can't remember what, what, what age I was might be what 19 or 20. Um, I know a long time ago. Um, you know, like it, we all went to um, Chinatown in Newcastle during lunchtime, and like, you know, he said like, you know, Andy, put your wallet away, like this is on us, and it was just like little things like that was just like above and beyond is is the is the best description I can like think of it. He was just one of the kindest men I've ever met, and I can only hope to be half the man he was. Right. Like, like yes, I know I've had like you know deaths that's close to it, it's impacted as like you know the cool burns back in twenty thirteen. I uh, obviously my granddad on my birthday. Like he set the standard for how nice a person can be. So like every office I've been into is like I know what night what how nice a person can be because of him, and like and because he made it look so easy. You know, it, it can be done, like it's easy to do, just to be nice, you know what I mean? Um, but no, he, he was one of the nicest men I've ever met and, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm glad he got to see like the takeover go through because that would have really meant a lot to him. Um, yeah, um, yeah, you, you will be missed and, um, you know, a lot of what I'm doing is because of him, like he pushed me to go to uni. And say like you know you love it you need to go you like you you'll, you'll learn so much you'll grow so much and to have and because of him like obviously I'm starting like 
new ventures like you know eye candy you know and other things like that like even though I wouldn't be able to like you know actually work a camera and edit and stuff like that if it wasn't for him so no he he, he was a nice one of the nicest men I've ever met and yeah I'm 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 sad to say that he's no longer with us because uh, yeah that was um, oh, that was hard that was hard um but yeah I don't mean to like make this a visible video um. I don't mean to make this like a like a sad sort of themed video because I'm actually like, you know, I'm carrying a lot into 2022. Like I've got my side project, uh, Eye Candy, that's that's going to be taken off in 2022. Um, and I've got like a, a renewed sense of purpose. Like you know, I've got a kind of self belief. Like, I mean, if I was if I wasn't confident, I wouldn't be doing this. You know, I'd be like, oh, look at that ugly fuck. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, but no, I've got like a renewed sense of purpose. Like I've got a lot of drive, and I finally know what like. I finally know what I want to be, what I want to do, and how I want to do it, you know what I mean? And I've got like, I feel kind of proud to like tell my story a bit more. I'm not like in a cringy like... I'm not a Tory. We, you know what I mean? Yeah, not, not like that, but like, I've got like an interesting story, like an interest. I've got a very interesting childhood. But I think it would be quite interesting to a lot of people. Make you realise that I am the way I am because of, you know, certain things. But no, I've got I've, I've got a renewed sense of purpose. I've got ambitions, and I've got a side project, and I've got like a I've got a vision of where I want to be next year. So hopefully, this time next year, we'll be millionaire. No, we'll be millionaires. Um, this time next year, I want to, you know, I'm going to put in a lot of work in next year. So manifestation and all that, you know, I'm going to manifest some sort of <laughs> some got some good fortune, and I'm going to work for it. Um, but yeah, I've got a story and I want to tell it. So, and I want to tell stories of other people as well. But there's, there's a lot of interesting people up there, like you know, um, there's a lot of kind people, like like Adam. Like his stories kind of need to be told a bit more, and they won't ever do it because like you know they're so selfless. You know what I mean? So I'm, I'm kind of taking that as my job to like find those people and tell their story. So yeah, a video a month minimum. Minimum. I also want to apologise to a lot of people because 2021 I've been quite secluded and cut off from the world as you know as a pandemic can have the effect of as a pandemic can do to people but no 2021 I've got trying to like build myself up to be something you know that I can be proud of to take to the world you know what I mean like I don't want to be like this 2021 I wanted to be the year where I transitioned into a confident person, you know, where I know my abilities and a little bit stubborn in the sense that I know what I am and I'm quite proud of it. So no, I know that I'm I'm good with a camera. I know that I what I can do with a camera, and I know what I want to create. So it comes to me like I'm a little bit cocky, but I'm I'm now good with the camera, so I'm gonna show off what I can do. And I think that's that's that's, that's a fair fair way of looking at it. But. Yeah, I want to say sorry for, you know, I haven't been as social as I'd like to have been, like, you know, I should have really met up with a few people this year. Um, I would like to come back down to Brighton and meet my friends down in Brighton that, I, you know, I met and, you know, eventually go to London again. But, yeah, um, yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's on me, and I can only apologise. I was just sort of so focused on myself that I just kind of just... Yeah. It's not an excuse, it's my own stupid fault. But yeah, 2022 I'll be back to the normal sort of godly self. I think that's it to be honest. I say thank you for your support for the Great North Run, like, you know, um, messages and comments and donations meant a lot to us. And it did, did motivate us, like, the night before, like, I was, I was loving it, and it, you know, even, like, <laughs> being sat on that field before, like, stretching. You know, I was reading the comments and it was like, you know, to read good luck meant a lot. Uh, it did keep us going and do some tough times. And I kind of want to do it again next year just to do better and improve. But we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. But no, I hope I hope 2022 is uh, a better year for you. And uh, thank you for all of these, uh, no, 42. Thank you to all 42 of you that are subscribed. And because of this video, it's probably going to be 41 now, isn't it? Um, 
But yeah, no, I just want to say thank you for supporting us, you know. Um means a lot. Means a lot. And um yeah, I hope 2022 is a good one for you and me. Right, that's me done. I'll uh, see you next year. And welcome to the ink. Oh, f oh, come on, focus. Uh, if I can just focus on my face, that'll be spot on. Hello, and welcome to the most inconsistent person in the world. Oh, I'm not in focus. F